What do we have here? 4.7 special program. No, I did not miss this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, and no, not too late. But uh, yeah, 51 minutes. Let's see what these guys uh, announced for the 4.7, and let's see what we have here. For some reason, I did not get any spoilers in on my uh, uh, on my Twitter or anything or any social media platform. I have no idea how I uh, managed to avoid any spoilers. So let's see what we have here. He comes and goes with Dainsleaf. Only appearing at the most critical moments. He's highly knowledgeable. Let's leave subtitles on. Share his observations with others. She has a cold and stern exterior, and her spotless battle record has earned her renown. Never mind. Without Fontaine. She is an unusual looking Melusine with an equally unique perspective on the world. And now, their voice actors have all gathered here today to deliver the version 4.7 special program. Ayo, I can't believe we're actually all here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Danes live here. Aguilar and I voice the male traveler. Today, our hosts for the special program. Or ever in a special program. Hello, everybody. I'm Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Dainsleaf. You may know me from all of those new character intro videos and occasionally drop in lore on y'all. And I'm Indeed. Williams, the voice of the head nurse at the Fortress of Merapi, Sejuin. She's there keeping everybody all healthy and nice and making sure everybody feels good. And hey everyone, I'm Crystal Lee, the voice of Fontaine's champion duelist, Clorand. Pew pew pew, let's get it. All right, nice. So we've got a traveler, a man of mystery, a duelist, and a healer. I think it's the perfect adventuring party. Yep, huh. perfect team. Wild coincidence, you guys. I just received an <laughs> invitational letter to Too bad domain. we don't have yeah, this no, guy. <laughs> that That's just destiny. Yeah. Definitely. You know, this new domain seems to be right behind us, but in order to complete the challenge, we'll need to tackle several missions first. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Traveler, Paimon, would you join us and play Mar Chausse Hunter Judgment Day? Who is this voice? This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shose Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Whoa. Many of my habits are customs I've adopted from the Maro Shose Hunter tradition. They fought against monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Okay, Clorend is fun and actually nice visually. Storybook is a segment of the present. So vast and mysterious. There must be quite a story behind this. Place. Um, I uh, haven't done Sino's story quest, so I don't know who this guy is. Whoops. I know he appears in Sino's story quest. The new Amiya looks amazing. It's just so much more dangerous in there than I ever imagined. See, Juin, let's see. Well, if it hurts, just let me know. Okay, she throws a pill. That's uh, that's adorable. You can actually capture enemies. Okay. One I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. But they don't trust me at all. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new world, they bade farewell. What is this? One. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Wait, what? The way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Marachose hunter. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. That's quite the gamble. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap. 
One day. Wait, are we? I shall have my vengeance. That Fighting Dainsleaf. Captain Dainsleaf could accomplish his own goal. Or protecting him. The loom of fate has already been completed. <laughs> Traveler, let me oh. ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Ooh. <laughs> Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Ooh. That felt good. And this is the first redemption code. What? I, I got goosebumps. That, felt, that, that, was, uh, that was a nice, uh, pretty line. <laughs> What is going on? Of course he comes. He uh, drops tons of lore on us and then leaves. What a chat. Well, how about we start off by introducing Fontaine's strongest champion duelist, Cloran. Okay, let's see. I saw some things from the trailer, but let's see what, what abilities she has. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. <laughs> she is truly majestic. Ready. I like this uh this attack, the pew 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 attack, I will call it. Shoot on sight. This is a mobile game by the way. Just saying. But she actually uses both a sword and a pistol to attack her enemies during combat. Now, her normal attack deals physical well, damage by performing we got a, five the new Kiana. <laughs> During her charged attack, Clorand uses her pistolet to target enemies in a V shape in front of her. Mm. Also, Clorand has developed a special ritual over the years. She always polishes her weapon before each duel. That is so dignified of her. I know. I mean, man, kind of adorable. Even the champion. Uh, that's dedication. The cute side, huh? Aww. <laughs> Sarah is starting to sound just like Siege Wing. Oh, what? Though it's probably a meaningful ritual for Clorand, right? That's exactly right. It's a habit that helps Clorand focus on the opponent in front of her. In fact, Clorand's elemental skill, Hunter's Vigil, is an ability that demonstrates okay, how this is nice. when she's focused. Visually, this is amazing. During and combat, it's probably so fun. They're starting the to state. release a lot of fun characters. Two different types I mean, look at this. Attacks. Her normal attacks will be converted into swift hunt pistolet attacks, and her elemental skill will be converted into a lunging attack, impale the knight. Huh, it looks like Clarion gains a bond of life during her elemental skill. Does the skill have any additional effects? Oh, good perception on those eyes. Those swift hunt pistolet attacks increase Cloran's bond of life. And her lunging attack, impale the knight, will clear the bond of life. Wait, so she accumulates the bond with one hand and then clears it with the other? Oh, hey, that's a really good explanation. Yeah, Cloran's special attacks okay. have different effects depending on the value of her bond of life. So, when her bond of life so is we're like starting the bond of life thing with everyone. Piercing effect, and they deal greater damage. But when her bond of life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE and deals higher damage. Again. Ah, gotcha, I get it. So <laughs> she looks so Clarence fun, Clarence but I don't think I have enough Primo Gems for another character. I want to say for, uh, way, for my Ayaka. Bingo! Though you should remember the effect of one of Koran's unique talents. So, when she's in the Night Vigil state, any healing other than the one provided by her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will be converted into a bond of life. Okay, another character that cannot be healed anymore. Great. Gameplay. So, travelers can experiment with a variety of different tactical combinations. That's cool. Also, although Clorand is most renowned as a champion duelist, she has never forgotten her identity as a Marachose hunter. So, during her elemental burst, Last Lightfall, Cloran draws on her Mara Shose hunter heritage to unleash an ancient skill. She's so, she looks so fun. Deadly monsters. This ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her burst deals AOE electro damage and grants her a bond of life based on her max HP. Wow, that's so cool. But if that power is designed to fight monsters, is it really okay for her to use it in a regular duel? <laughs> Good point. I think mm. Cloran just has to adjust the uh, amount of force that she puts behind those blows. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Also, Cloran can draw on the strength of her companions after unlocking her passive talent, Dark Shattering Flame. Man, that sounds cool. 
So, when a nearby party member triggers an electro-related reaction, the electro damage dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Okay. So, note, there is a ceiling to the damage bonus that she can gain from this effect. Clorand also has another passive talent called Lawful Remuneration. If her bond of life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage, then a change in her bond of life value will increase her crit rate. That's right. And okay. while she's in the night vigil state, the percentage of healing converted into a bond of life will increase. Wow. Yeah. And finally, being a champion duelist gives Clorand a strong familiarity with all the regions. Oh, of finally. So we have a character that can do regional uh, stuff. Resources on the mini map. So awesome. Nice. <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be eager to use her to uncover treasure. Mm, monsters, and of course, I know I want her, but I don't really want her. I don't know what to say. So, 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 Clorand is usually pretty stern and composed as a champion duelist, but I wonder how she unwinds, like... Uh, she looks so fun. I'm sure that she has some interest outside of work. I, mean, I love this fast-paced movement, and sure especially from the Electro characters, but I don't know what to Aww, say. Yeah, of course she does. <laughs> Clorand is an active member of the tabletop... Okay, we get a new story. I need so to do Sino story quest. Uh, can you guys let me know in the comments if you want to see that? Quest. Because I, from what I could They'll see, uh, you don't really like to see any Woo! story quest or any longer videos. So, much. so let me know if you want me to record that. Yeah. And uh, with all of that, that is all the information that I have to share about Cloran. So next up, let's introduce our adorable little Sijuin. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, sorry. Okay, Too let's nice. see Sijuin. Even though I don't really first. want yes. uh, another healer or don't like Sijuin. The pill throwing is probably their uh, selling point. Or the catch. <laughs> this <laughs> this catch. Hmm. Did she leave? Like uh, nuvillets, droplets. Okay, let's see. Is a hydro bow user. Her oh, hey, she's a bro bow user. Consecutive attacks. During the second and third she's us literally using the bow once and then throws <laughs> pills at the I enemy. The demo. It's like she's literally telling her opponents to take their medicine. Look at the size of that thing. She can make aimed shots using her charged attack. Once the shot what? is held in fully charged, uh, okay. Sijuin's bow will fire <laughs> slow moving ministration bubbles. The so you just shoot, you, you don't shoot your bow anymore, okay? To release her arrow. Oh, and also, Sijuin uses a specially made bubble gun to fire a giant bolstering bubble bomb during her elemental skill. Rebound hydro That's interesting. Therapy. The projectile bounces between nearby opponents, dealing Wait, what? damage to anyone. What are those droplets? So she leaves the droplets, and if you pick them up, you get a bond of life. The question is, are those do droplets compatible with uh, Nuvillet? <laughs> bolstering bubble bomb. Say that three times fast. Oh, please don't <laughs> make me. You know, travelers could have a, a bubble blowing contest with their Sijuins. Would that be great? You can have that oh, idea for free. Exactly it's like great blowing idea. bubbles. <laughs> The longer you hold her elemental skill, the larger the bubble grows. Once the projectile is released, it will gradually decrease in size as it bounces around. The bigger the bubble, the greater the damage and healing effect. And if a large bubble hits a weaker enemy, they'll be trapped inside. Whoa. <laughs> Sweet revenge from those hydro slimes. Of kindness. Like the hydro you, you, know, you could tell she she cares about it. her bedside manner is so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait a second. Are those the orbs that Nivellet drops? It looks like Sijuin oh. creates two oh. sources. So they're mentioning them. She fires a bubble, and it looks like she gains a bond of life when she touches them. How does that work? Uh, I can't explain that as well. Since she has training as a nurse, Sijuin understands how to make the most of a dire situation. Her elemental skill creates source water droplets, and Sijuin can give herself a bond of life by absorbing them. When that bond of life is cleared, Sijuin can regain some elemental energy based on the value of the bond of life. Okay. Ah, so Sijuin's healing can nullify her bond of life and she can restore energy for herself. 
Nice. That's I right. guess that's a While good mechanic. While wildlife is hazardous to most people, it can actually be perceived as a real advantage for Siege Wing. Oh, so yeah, you, you can use that with the uh, new village. Siege Wing's healing will be increased yep, you can use them. Okay. Life values across all the characters in her party. I guess that's all right. Oh, that's OP. Sounds like a melusine can make the bond of life a lot. New village can sustain yeah. himself, so After using her I don't know. And absorbing nearby source water droplets. Sijuin will use the syringe to spray enemies in front of her. <laughs> this attack deals continuous hydro damage. Wait, that's so cute. Even her attacks are a form and of And that's treatment. so fast. Yeah, I mean, hey, she, she that doesn't literally. So it's one, possible. two, yeah, right? three. Sijuin it's literally three seconds of constant damage. After <laughs> that's it. Her passive talent requires appropriate rest. Unleashing her elemental skill will also trigger the semi-strict bed rest effect. Oh. This effect will grant her a hydro damage bonus and several stacks of convalescence. When non-active characters deal damage with their off-field elemental skills, Siege Wing can consume a stack of convalescence to increase that elemental skill damage. Mm. I like how it's only semi-strict, but you know, <laughs> not super strict, because she couldn't be super strict. <laughs> Just a little. Wow, so okay. it seems like the bond of yeah, she's all right. If you want her, go for it. Claran's kits. Mm -hmm. Sure Not my style, though. though. Oh, yeah. I is actually fun, but I don't know what to say. Just be limited to the play style style, right? is that, is I, I want to see six Sayaka, that's all. For open <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. And outside of combat, Melazines are very connected to the ocean, so Sijuin always takes care of her companions during underwater exploration. Okay. Sijuin is especially helpful when her friends are endangered by underwater enemies. She can use her emergency dose talent to continuously restore HP to her party member for a period of time. Oh. Unfortunately, doing so will lower all of their elemental and physical resistances there's always a price oh so you basically Ooh, that seems like a get full health but you can get one shot what was that trade thanks head nurse <laughs> that's a good uh, a good thing in the Neri e chapter, oh? travelers will have the chance to learn more about the background of this. So we get the story quest with Sijuin as well. So another one the, <laughs> that I need to do. Hey, speaking of story quests, <sighs> travelers meet a mysterious youngster. Like okay, no spoilers, but I I don't have any idea who this guy is. I think I'll do the story quest these days. One of these days. Don't really like Sino, so wasn't my pri priority. Oh me? Uh, okay then. Let's take a look at Sethos's demo. Okay. Let's see Sethos. You end up thinking yourself into a corner. Sometimes it's better to let go. He looks like Sino's brother. I don't know. Oh. Okay, that animation was actually pretty nice. Okay, okay. Probably he's a four star. His design is so cool. He looks amazing. He feels like a four star. The hair, I love it. Right? Sethos didn't just get power and wisdom from his desert heritage. He's all and he has the road at the back of his hand. And he always knows where to find the best regional specialties. Oh, another Sumeru regional. Where this is going, but I'll say it anyway. When Sethos is in your team, he'll reveal the location of Sumeru regional specialties on the mini map. Nice. Isn't Tainari doing the same so thing? Curious. He's lived in a remote desert for his entire life, and he carries the weight of such an ancient legacy. To me, it seems like someone with that kind of a Clorend, no spoilers. <laughs> I know you're supposed to have everything done when watching these, but um, uh, I didn't have any time for that, so sorry. I will do it. I promise. He had more educational I don't know if I'll upload it to YouTube, but I'll do it. His responsibilities drive him to learn about other people and places. Let's move on to what he can do in combat. Yes. Sethos's aim shot has a special variant when charged to level two. He can't move when his attack is charged to its second level, but it allows him okay. to fire a powerful shadow piercing shot that can pierce enemies, dealing electro damage to targets in its path. Is Sethos's piercing enemies good in this game? Increase the charging time of his aim shot by consuming elemental energy. Some elemental energy will also I like the transition from horizontal blow to vertical blow and an explosion. Also, I noticed his aim shots this a part. Really long time to charge. So I think that means players need to store up elemental. This is actually a nice animation. Shot faster, right? 
Hey, wait a minute. I feel like this is the first Genshin Impact character who actually consumes elemental energy while firing aimed shots. What? Yep. Yeah, you're right on. It's the first one. That's why Sethos has an elemental skill that helps him restore elemental energy. Useful. It's an ancient ritual that deals AoE electro damage, and it also restores elemental energy whenever a hit on an enemy triggers an overloaded, electrocharged, superconduct, electro swirl, quicken, aggravate, or hyper bloom reaction. So any electro related reaction for firing powerful shots by unleashing his elemental burst Sethos will perform an ancient ritual that was passed down from King Deshrit's era Stop with the ancient rituals Why light meditation state converting his normal attacks to enemy piercing dust bolts that deal with okay, so damage it's based on his elemental mastery piercing oh, shot Uemiya Sounds like a mini version of the shadow piercing shot only it doesn't take as much time to fire Useful <laughs> Okay, also it seems like the records of King Deshret have a lot of powerful abilities. So, he has, uh, I guess, a bit more AoE than Yuimiya. I don't know what to say. Of course! Yeah. I'm sure that the Temple of Silence has a whole archive of secrets. One of his other talents will also increase the damage dealt by a shadow piercing shot for a period of time based on his elemental mastery. All right, sounds like the Temple of Silence is a real impressive legacy. No kidding. So many ancient rituals. Sethos is definitely a talented fighter who can make full use of his martial heritage. He's similar to Kalorand in that sense. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. We finished the first mission. Nice. I wonder what the next one's going to be. What do you mean, mission? Oh, it looks like we'll have to uncover hidden secrets. Hidden secrets. In our next okay. Mission. <laughs> why, why are all you guys looking at me? <laughs> well, I mean, secrets are kind of your area of... Dane's leaf. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell yeah, us everything. Speak plainly, sir. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who can shed some light on the hidden secrets. Oh, here he goes. So here we go. <laughs> Archon Quest Chapter 4, Act 6. <laughs> Finally! Will become available in Bedtime Story. Seven. Travelers will right. finally reunite with Dane. I love our conquests and I can't wait for another one. Ooh, that's, that's what you guys were waiting for, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And <clears throat> also, I, you know, got to break out my voice acting skills for this patch, you guys. Oh my gosh, <gasps> words come out of your mouth. Hell yeah. Oh, finally, you're doing something. This time, Ether and Lumine will get to meet face to face. Ooh. And based on what we heard in the trailer, it seems like the loom of fate is now complete. I so forgot what the Lumos fate is. More about Kari Bear in this uh, da, 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 we can't oh, Kari Bear. Now, Wasn't he... Secrets. Wait, what? For me. Wasn't he... These are important secrets. Uh, destroyed in the last... <laughs> in the last... Okay. Okay. The, the Sumer War Conquest. Right? <laughs> look, look, I, look, I know, I get it, that everyone can barely contain their excitement. So... You are right. I will throw you a bone. To help tide you over until the next update, I'll be sharing a special surprise with y'all. Oh. What is it? Come on. Oh, I love surprises. It is. You'll know very soon, I promise. Uh. But first, first, uh. first, first, we need to introduce the event wishes. That was a script. Okay. So, okay. I told you. First phase of version 4.7. Okay. Clorend, I'll hate them, and Sethos. Okay. That's okay. Sethos will be the new four-star unit that appears on the. I still have no idea what to do. I have Alhatham's weapon, by the way. Travelers can look forward to a. Sijuin and Furina. I don't need many more. Actually, more constellations on Furina would be nice. Huh. I cannot contain myself. <laughs> My gambling addiction is ruining me. Also be featured on their respective weapon banners. They look so good. Absolution sword looks kind of like Furina's weapon. Weapon, but electro style. Let's bring out the surprise. Yes, I hope enjoys it. Let's go. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, a trailer. Okay. Wait. The animation looks. Wait, is this a? Don't tell me this is a. Oops, I hit on my mouse. This is the anime. This is the anime I cannot believe. This looks so good. Oh. Oh. 
Ok. Yo. I cannot believe it. So this. Is the journey Dainsleaf went first before us? This looks so good. This looks more of a love story than a sibling story. Goosebumps again. This is the second redemption code. Oh, I cannot believe the anime is finally pure. That has to be the anime, right? That animation is similar to the first trailer we we saw when we see we saw the Genshin X Ufotable uh, partnership. Damn, Ufotable is doing an amazing job. That looked amazing or is the actually what if that animation is the new castings from for genshin and we'll have uh right not not those pre-rendered casting the beautiful pre-rendered casting will have these anime style castings i think i'm overthinking but that could be a thing that could be nice okay Welcome back, travelers. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. I think it's <laughs> what do we have here? This domain behind us. Yes, yes. Another I'm event. So ready. Dun, dun, dun. Imaginarium <laughs> Theater. <laughs> the location of this challenge seems pretty intriguing. Paimon and the traveler discovered a secret room within the Mondstadt Library, and they've received Mondstadt. an invitation to participate in a mysterious performance. Oh, I love secret rooms and libraries. I've always wanted one. So that's right, the all-new event, Imaginarium Theater, will become available in version 4.7 for travelers who are adventure rank 35 or higher. Okay. Nice. Wait, so this is a library? Mm -hmm. Wow. The coolest library. And what do we do here? A lot different from what I imagined. <laughs> What's this event? Yeah, it kind of looks more like a magic castle. Mm. Right? So cool. I would live there. Please. <laughs> so travelers will encounter a concierge in the area who calls himself Wolfie. Aww. <laughs> Wolfie. He'll reveal that this room was created by a mage and that he's waiting for a guest to take the stage. He is also a poet. <laughs> that guest will hopefully put on a magnificent performance Damn, he's by big. becoming the main character of the mage's story. Bring on that main character energy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. After arriving in this room, travelers just need to interact with this strange book in order to participate in the Imaginarium Theater. What's going on? Well, that was fast. Easy mode, normal mode, hard mode. Oh, let me tell you, Imaginarium Theater contains a series of combat challenges with different battle conditions. Okay. Only characters who wield specific elemental types will be allowed to participate. Ooh, that's so nice. Travelers will have to select characters who meet the requirements. So you have to have a lot of characters. Oh, 
But what if we don't have enough characters in our roster who meet the requirements? Uh huh. Good thinking. But you won't have to. Trial characters that. are always First available up, here. Six characters will in be any event. The initial lineup for each challenge. Trial characters will be provided for travelers that are missing any of those characters. Noise. And travelers Noise. <laughs> also invite special guest characters to participate in the challenges that aren't restricted by the event requirements. Ooh. In addition, travelers can also designate a certain number of characters as supports for their supports. friends. Supports. Okay. Can also select their friends supporting characters to join their own team. That's a nice. Oh, and that's nice. Characters. Right? Friend friends. Friends who who would say no friends. to For people who have friends. In staged combat. Friends helping each other. And during the current challenge period, those six designated characters who make the time to make what gain fantastical blessing, huh? This will grant them buffs that remain potent even outside of the Imaginarium Theater challenge. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying those buffs aren't just active during the challenge itself? Yes. Wait, you can wait, keep wait, the... Okay, the mage behind the what is this is event? Super powerful. Oh, super powerful. And I know that everyone's probably wondering why it looked like we had to select so many characters just now. But characters will consume vigor while participating in Imaginarium Theater combat challenges. So when a character's vigor oh, is Oh, okay. Defeated, so you cannot use the dusk that character anymore. With a new character. Time for some R &R. I think I, I we we've seen this event, so when you right? Your characters, you have to pay attention to how well they work together. Yes. But it looked and a little different. Well they can fill in for each other. Mm. Exactly. Involved strategy. And I should also mention that not all selected characters will immediately appear in your team. Some characters can only be gathered by progressing through the story. They can formally be added to your team at the end of an Imaginarium theater battle, or when you encounter certain special events. Okay, Ooh. they're on so point with the animations or part of the challenge. Yes, which makes it even more fun. But let me explain a little more about the special events that I mentioned. Travelers can choose to spend Fantasia flowers to trigger events during the story. Now, some events will unlock certain characters for battle and okay. others will trigger certain perils. Uh -oh. so We're so finally so doing something here. that's no pressure. Wait, is this event permanent? Can collect performance tour rewards There's a lot of re rewards. Please tell me this is permanent. The first time they complete a challenge, travelers will This looks permanent. A debut performance gift. Mm. Travelers who feel particularly confident can try to attain the star challenge condition during each stage. There's a lot of primo gems. different levels of performance medals that correspond with the difficulty of the challenge. These medals can be displayed on their profile. Go ahead and show off. And of course, you can show them off. Right? <laughs> Travelers can also obtain toy medals during this event. Which toy medals. With Wolfie the Concierge. Aww. In return, oh. Travelers will Currency. receive special poses for their characters when taking uh, photos. Yeah, awesome. Right? Travelers will be able What's to that for? Oh, it's for pictures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. And also more awesome. The Imaginarium Theater is updated. Yes. And finally, each performance in the Imaginarium Theater has several difficulty levels, and each one has a different number of challenges. Higher difficulty levels will yield even better rewards. Bring it on. As Wolfie the Concierge likes to say, when the brilliant golden glow of the treasure <laughs> beckons, don't you hesitate. Just go open it. How can he be so Are cute? you his voice actor? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 somehow I still didn't make him as cute as he actually is. Of course, oh, okay. it'll take time for travelers to raise the necessary characters and understand how they fit into this new challenge. And I'm sure travelers are always looking for ways to get more primo gems. Always. You just said the magic primo gems. Gimme, 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 gimme. Give <laughs> Bro. Each month, Imaginarium Theater will alternate updates with the spiral of So yeah, this is a permanent. Finally, we have some end game content. To 800 primo gems. And we get a new raise for uh, for Spiral Abyss. Wow. <laughs> Didn't know I need that, but thanks. Social media accounts, so... Keep a lookout. <laughs> Finally, we get something new. Okay, so this is the best version <laughs> we got. Let's see what we get. Uh, so I, I guess this is the the main event of the 4.7. So the, the that theater is a permanent event. Oh, can, can, I cannot wait now. 4.7 is probably my favorite now. Okay, so just training, probably normal combat. I'm I'm way too excited for that uh, theater permanent uh, permanent event <laughs> to be than these uh, these normal events. Assault scenarios and defense scenarios. 
As special representatives to the simulation, travelers will need to analyze what? formations and deploy the best units for completing the challenge. In Wait, the what? scenarios, you only need to select your combat units and deploy them within your staging area. So, what are doing strategy now? The unit will automatically start attacking your opponent. So sit back and I don't know if you can relax when these things are coming at you, but try. Clearly not. Pew pew. Ooh, okay, okay, I'm gonna give this a try. Ooh, brave. <laughs> We're playing Pokemon uh, again. <laughs> how come my hilly churl archers got wiped out so quickly? Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, I forgot to mention something important. <laughs> you sorry. know. <laughs> I know, I know. You uh, can deploy them. Okay, this is some types of interesting, I guess. <laughs> Ranged units like hilly churl archers are vulnerable to melee units like mita churls. But don't fret, you can turn a bad situation around if you choose the best units to tackle the opponents on the battlefield. Just choose Ooh. the best units, Zach. Exactly. Just choose the best just, units. Just yeah, choose, choose the best, the best units. Simple fix. Simple fix. <laughs> In <defense laughs> skill issue. Deploy units to effectively counter enemies who are attacking from multiple directions. So defeated enemy units will drop support beacons, which can then be used to deploy additional combat units and frontline structures. Okay. The units commander, it's the that's uh, I forgot the name, but uh, we did something like this, but without uh, without ally minions, just these towers. From the mutual security enhancing simulation event, these rewards include primo gems. Yes. A crown of yeah, people love primo gems. A four star bow, cloud forged. Okay. Let me guess if that's for Sethos okay. or Sijuin. And next up, we're introducing another combat related. And this forms most martial. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that this one is going to test some different skills. Yeah, you betcha. In the previous event, I do like combat events, combat. don't get me wrong. The environment on a real They're fun. Is At least I get to test my uh, my characters. To come up with combat tactics on the fly and take advantage of battlefield conditions. So, in endless oh yeah, and you get to try characters that you don't have, most likely. Rules of each stage. For example, some challenges may require travelers to defeat enemies affected by the electrocharged condition. And that is the only way to accumulate progress towards the challenge goal. Now, once they satisfy the requirements, they'll be able to earn... Okay. Ba -ba 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 rewards. That's interesting. Yes. We get new challenges to try out. So this is one of those challenges that requires you to strategize. Indeedy. Oh, okay. Let's move on to our next event. What is this? Yeah. I've gotten a report about a loud boom that just went off in a rather unremarkable part of Fontaine. Uh-oh. Ooh, I like that news. It must have come from that crocodile-shaped cannon. It, it, that thing looks pretty scary. That's an NPC? I wouldn't worry about it actually. Man, they're this getting better at designing NPCs. Engineer. Oh. It's now just a toy cannon that you can use to fire hydro bullets. So Oh, it's this type of event. Okay, we had this one. This is fun. Why not indeed? Yeah, we'll take it. It's actually quite nice. Need to allocate energy to the cannon and choose the correct Yeah, this one. Destroy as many target balls as possible within the time limit. They'll even be rewarded for their trouble. Was there ever yes. a doubt? Mm -hmm. In order to keep the event interesting, special types of target balls will appear during the challenge. They will produce different effects when they are destroyed. So be sure to check it out for yourselves in the new update. Cool. You guys, that's that's my kind of yeah, the old school arcade games because I'm an old school. Oh, I'm right. just old. Anyway. <laughs> okay, well, no, he's right. Takes place. How many events we have? Travelers will encounter a familiar light novelist who recently completed a new script. Travelers who follow her script will be able to embark on a wondrous journey of literature and imagination. And the script will lead travelers to mysterious locales Ooh. where they will have the opportunity to earn rewards. That is, okay. if they can evade bullet curtain assaults from, you know, various <laughs> mechanisms and collect enough labyrinth. Okay, this is actually easy, fun, easy. is the labyrinth thing. Also be scattered across the field. Let me guess, you can design your own labyrinth and have people play in it. Ooh, it looks like we'll have to move really skillfully if we want to avoid all those attacks. No pressure. Mm -hmm. No and pressure. Don't worry, travelers can take advantage of adventure techniques to gain special buffs. So these buffs will make the oncoming bullets a lot easier to deal with. You'll also be able to get rewards more easily if you're smart. Yeah, if you have Chlorin. <laughs> or Shao. The new version will be adding more updates to the GG. <laughs> Yay, TCG. I haven't touched TCG in. Oh, since its release. Cards. Also, more NPCs will be ready to challenge travelers in the open world. 
Oh, and I hope they're ready to lose. Oh, well. <laughs> if we're not getting any more uh, primogens from TCG, I ain't touching that. Let an overflow, that's classic. Let's take a break while we take a look at the last redemption code. See you soon. Okay. Last redemption code. And, uh, yeah, sure. Next. I like the soundtrack. Welcome back to the version 4.7 special program. Looks like we completed this domain challenge. Oh, was there ever any doubt? Piece of cake. <laughs> uh, I think you'll find I am very, very pro. So, it's time to you're in the domain. The new optimizations in the latest update. Let's see optimizations. First up, the encounter point system for collecting daily commission rewards will now be unlocked at adventure rank 24. Okay. Hopefully, this helps travelers level up more quickly. I don't remember what was the and now for some really thing last time. Travelers max resin will be increased from 160 to 200. Whoa. <laughs> you might notice from the finally point seven will have some increased friend cap. Yay. I don't think I have five in friends in total. Recommended stats. All right, that looks like all the information we have to share today. Bye, travelers. What? What? <laughs> Was that it? Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm can't. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Of course, I wouldn't sign off without giving you guys the chance to to talk about your time here on the special program. How was it? I have things to say. No, I'm. I am just. I'm so thrilled to join this amazing voice cast, and I'm excited for everyone to get to see Siegeween in action and add her to your parties, I hope, and yes, just see how cute she is with her well, pills and her... Well, that was a nice uh, experience, so oh until now, 4.7 is literally the best <laughs> update we have. So excited that is finally coming I don't know what to say. A lot of optimizations, a lot of things. We get more endgame content. I cannot wait for that theater. I, I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited for the Archon Quest. My favorite thing is beating things up in this world. Yeah. No, me too. Let me guess. What was that? It. And, and That's guys, it. I, I, I think. I've not been playing this game for years, and so while while uh, Dainsleaf is a is a man of mystery, uh, this game uh, so much of it is a mystery to me. And you guys were so welcoming today, and I learned so much. I'm pretty sure you know, I don't know as his voice actor fun. more about the game than oh, any of us. You guys, a, you know, a gateway? Ooh. Is that what did that just happen? Did we get this him? Is it. <laughs> yeah, I, it's been absolutely awesome doing this with you guys. I'm so excited for Imaginarium Theater. Of course, all the new characters. And the new Archon quest because I got yeah. some new voice lines. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> you finally got voice lines, not new voice lines. Well, thanks for coming, guys. And see y'all in game. You've talked more on these special programs than in the entire game combined. What is this? Trailer? <gasps> oh. What is this? Is this not Lan? What? Wait. These are us? Wait, what is this? Uh, okay, swimming through lava. Is this not Lan? Whoa, this looks so fun. This looks like Sumeru. Okay, this will be fun. So fun. But what are these animals? Whoa. I forgot we Natlan is getting close. I completely forgot about Natlan. Yeah, okay, I got the confirmation right here. The Natlan preview is <laughs> okay. My thoughts on this special program, the 4.71 one. This was amazing. So we get new R conquest. That what I what I will be excited for. New R conquest. I'm pretty sure I I don't know if I'll uh, wish for Clorend. I think I'll save for Ayaka or uh, someone else. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'll see when we get to 4.7. Um, the th that imaginary theater, I think it, the, it was its name. I cannot wait for that theater. Literally, I cannot wait for another spiral abyss like uh, thing. 
we uh, from what i could see it's something like better end game thing like you can i hope you can do runs together or you can do something cooperative so you don't have to do this alone or something that would be actually fun but i guess we'll see that was amazing we get a race cap that's good i think i basically stopped using uh, um resin after i'm uh, i decided i don't need all that damage and i uh, anything can be completed any content that you have at ar60 can be completed with your characters normal characters uh, i sometimes just farm because of it or i don't have what to do my resin is i think constantly capped it, i don't really care about it anymore and I basically use that resin when I get a new character, if I get a new character. So, I don't know, for other people maybe 200 is uh, is nice. But at least we can uh, uh, do a full-on condensed, uh, full-on set of condensed when, um, when we are capped. So uh, we don't have uh, that four and the next day we have another uh, another one. So yeah. But first, let me know if you want to see more story quests. I saw that no, my story quest video don't get that many views and don't uh, people don't really uh, watch it. So uh, if you want to see my story quests, just let me know or I'll just do them off camera and, uh, and that's it. So yeah, thank you very so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.